Want to speak real Cantonese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CantoneseClass101.com. Hi everyone, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we are going to talk about 20 travel phases you should know. Are you traveling to Hong Kong anytime soon? Or Macau? Let us know in the comment section. So here we go. 我可不可以要张地图? Could I get a map? 我可不可以要张地图? Could I get a map? So you can always find a travel information center near most attractions and get a map or just download it online. 你识讲英文吗? Do you speak English? 你识讲英文吗? Do you speak English? 你识讲 is like you know how to speak. 英文 is English. Ma is the question particle. So you can substitute any other languages in this question. For example, 你识讲法文吗? Do you speak French? Fatman is French. 你识讲日文吗? Do you speak Japanese? 你识讲国语吗? Do you speak Mandarin? 呢度有冇巴士由机场去市区? Is there a bus from the airport to the city? 呢度有冇巴士由机场去市区? Is there a bus from the airport to the city? 巴士 is bus. It sounds very similar. It's actually a loan word. So, basi, bus, bus, bus. Gechang is airport. Sikai is city. It's like city center or downtown. So, there are a lot of airport bus that brings you to different parts of the city. It's very convenient. Wi Fi hai mai min fai. Is the Wi Fi free? Wi Fi hai mai min fai. Is the Wi Fi free? Min fai is free. So, most places have free Wi Fi, like cafes or restaurants. They, they would provide free Wi-Fi all around Hong Kong. 今晚有没有房? Do you have any vacancies tonight? 今晚有没有房? Is there any vacancy tonight? This is a question you ask at the hotel or hostel. So 今晚 is tonight. It could be 今晚 or 今晚 is the same. 有冇 is like, is there any? 房 is room. So is there any room available for tonight? Or... Do you have any vacancies for tonight? 我可不可以轉房? Could I move to a different room? 我可不可以轉房? Could I move to a different room? 我可不可以? Can I? 轉房? 轉 is like to change, to turn. 房 is room, so can I change to another room? 我訂了房? I have a reservation for a room. 我訂了房? I have a reservation. So this is a sentence you use at the hotel or hostel. 房 is room, so 訂房 is to make a reservation for a room. 訂了房 is the past tense, so 我訂了房 is like, I have made the reservation for a room. Before you go to the hotel, you book a room, and then when you arrive, you just tell them 我訂了房, and then they will ask you for your last name, and they will find your booking. 唔該,可唔可以要個menu? Could we have the menu, please? 唔该,可唔可以要个menu? Could we have the menu, please? 唔该 is please or excuse me. 可唔可以, may we or can we or can I, may I? So menu is the same as in English. We just say menu in Hong Kong. That's the most common. So 唔该,可唔可以要个menu? This is the question you use in a restaurant. 你有冇咩推介? Do you have any recommendations? 你有冇咩推介? Do you have any recommendations? So when I travel to a new city, trying new restaurant, I will always ask, what's your recommendation? 你有冇咩推介? 唔该,买单. Check, please. 唔该,买单. Check, please. 唔该 is please or excuse me. So in this case, it's please. I want to check, please. So um, check, please. 唔该,买单. 买单 is to wrap up the bill, to settle the bill. So 买单, check, please. That's the sentence you will hear a lot or you will use at the restaurant. 我对花生敏感. I'm allergic to peanuts. 我对花生敏感. I'm allergic to peanuts. 唔该,要啲水. Water, please. 唔该,要啲水. Water, please. 唔该, again, is like, please or excuse me. 要啲水 is like, I want some water. So, water, please. 呢个几钱? How much is this? 呢个几钱? How much is this? 呢个 is this. 几钱 is how much. So how much is this? 呢个几钱? This is a question you will use at shop or store whenever you go shopping. 
you can ask Nika Gaitin. In Hong Kong, most of the shop already have the price tag listed, so you might not have to ask that question that much. I like 10 of these. I want 10 of this. is like I want. is 10. Nigo is this. So I want 10 of these. I like this. I like this. I'll buy this literally. So is I buy. Nigo is this. So I buy this. So I like this. That's what you say to the clerk when you are at a shop and you already chose something and you can tell him or her, like, I want this one, not you need it. Can you give me a Could you give me a discount? Could you give me a discount? So this is how you ask for a discount. For example, if you're buying 10 coin purse at the same time, you can ask for a discount. Do you take credit card? Do you take credit card? card is credit card. So sell is to receive, to accept. So some sell is do you accept? And then card credit card. Do you accept credit card? Do you take credit card? It's quite common for shops in Hong Kong to take credit card unless it's like very small scale uh, family run shop. But yeah, most shops take credit card. Where is the train station? Where is the train station? In this case, can apply to subway station or bus station. If you want to specify, say subway station, you can ask. Daytit is subway in Hong Kong. So, where is the subway station? Or where is the bus station would be? So Basi Zam is bus stop. So Zam is station or stop. So Te Zam Hai Bin is mostly understood as um, where's the train station? Tingman Gaitin. Excuse me, what's the fare? Tingman Gaitin. Excuse me, what's the fare? Tingman is like may I ask or excuse me? Uh, Gaitin is like how much? So in this case, Tingman Gaitin or just Gaitin. We use it at a train station or a bus or a minivan or taxi. It's like asking about the fare, the fee you have to pay to take this transportation. So, how much is it like for the fare? Could you take a picture of me, please? Could you take a picture of me, please? Guy is like, please, excuse me. Hom Hai is like, could you, like, can you please? Can you? Bong Ngo is for me. Ying Zhang Sang is to take a picture. So, Guy, Nei Hom Hai Yi, Bong Ngo Ying Zhang Sang. Could you take a photo for me, please? Could you take a picture for me, please? So that's it for today. Today we talked about 20 travel phrases. You can totally use it in Hong Kong or Macau or any other Cantonese speaking regions. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. You can make your own flashcards and study on the plane on the way there. So I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye! Hi everybody, this is Olivia from CantoneseClass101.com. Do you know how to say bye in Cantonese? In this lesson, you'll learn three parting expressions in Cantonese. Let's start with the easiest one. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. This means goodbye in Cantonese. You can use this in casual situations. It sounds like the English bye bye. But be careful to start with the first tone. Bye. Followed by another one in the third tone. Bye. Bye bye. If you want to be more formal, there is a different phrase you should use. Joy gain, joy gain, joy gain. This also means goodbye. Remember, both of the syllables, joy and gain, are both mid flat tones. Joy gain. If you know you're going to see the person again, here's a phrase for you. Chi 
This means see you later in Cantonese. The direct translation is later see. T is a low tone and it means late. While D is the Cantonese version of the ER in English. Gin is the verb to see. Let's wrap up this lesson by recapping what you've learned. Listen to the phrases and repeat after me. The casual way to say goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. The formal way to say goodbye. Joy gin. Joy gin. See you later. Tidi gin. Well done! Here's a fun fact. When saying goodbye to elderly or someone you won't meet again in a long time, we say bo zhong. It means goodbye and take care. You just learn how to say bye in three different ways in Cantonese. Hi guys, welcome back to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we are back in my kitchen because we are going to talk about tableware, tango, tableware. Here we go. So the first word is fai zi, fai zi, chopstick, fai zi. In Hong Kong, we usually use fai zi. In Hong Kong, we usually use chopstick for eating. And ever since SARS in 2003, my family picked up the habit of uh, using a public chopstick. We share dishes among everyone. So when we want to take the public food, we use another pair of chopstick, usually, usually another color, so we won't contaminate the food. So gong fai, kind of like a public chopstick. And the next thing we use in Cantonese food is um, tonggang, tonggang soup spoon. We use this for soup. At least in my family, we have soup every day for dinner, so you will see this in the table for sure. Please put the soup spoon on the table. All right. Tong is soup and gang is spoon, so tonggang soup spoon. And the next word is Qigang, you know you use this everywhere pretty much. Qigang or just gang spoon. Not yung qigang se gale. We use spoon to eat curry. And the next word is ta ta is funny sound. Fork ta fork ta. This is like a normal ta. And if we have a plastic and for takeout food, we usually get a plastic fork. So gao cha, gao is plastic, and cha is fork. So gao cha, plastic fork. And in a sentence, um, 我在日本买了只叉, I bought a fork in Japan. It's so tiny, it's good for eating cake. And the next word is dou, dou knife. 用刀叉割爬, Cutting a stick with fork and knife. So that's it for today. Today we talked about tableware, tan go. Do you use all of the above tan go? Let us know in the comment section. So thank you for watching today. Please subscribe to check out more videos like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi everybody, Olivia here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Cantonese questions. The question for this lesson is, where is Cantonese spoken? Cantonese is the oldest language and the most popular Chinese dialect spoken in Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, and some neighboring areas around the eastern part of Guangxi. Let's get into more details. In which regions is Cantonese currently spoken? Cantonese is the official language in Hong Kong, which is Hong Kong, and Oumun, which is Macau. And today we are in Macau. 
and historically the most popular form of Chinese spoken outside mainland China. We're not kidding about Cantonese being spoken everywhere. It is the most widely spoken dialect among Chinese communities in Canada, the United States of America, and Australia, as well as Europe and Southeast Asia. Is Cantonese very different from Mandarin? Cantonese and Mandarin are two of the most spoken Chinese dialects. They share the same writing system, but each dialect has terms that are unique in their regions. In the case of Cantonese, there are even some special Chinese characters not used in other dialects. Here is an interesting fact: pronunciation among native Cantonese speakers in China can be different from that of Cantonese speakers in Hong Kong. A lot of people in Hong Kong, especially the younger generation, use a lot of their own conversational slang and tend to speak what they would call "lan yam," meaning "lazy tongue." An example is the word "you." The right way to pronounce it is "nay," but in Hong Kong, many people pronounce it as "lay." How was it? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them. See you next time. Happy eating! Hi guys, welcome to CantoneseClass11.com's Top Words. My name is Olivia, and today we're going to talk about 15 must-know family words. Here we go. Okayan, family. Okayan, family. Okay is home. Yan is people. So people in our home is our family. Okayan in a sentence. 佢重视工作多过屋企人 He follows his job more than his family. Oh, that's really bad. Please don't do that. Please value your family more. 重视你屋企人多啲爸爸 father. Next. 爸爸 ，father， 爸爸带我去睇足球比赛。Father takes me to watch soccer game。老公 ，husband， 老公 ，husband， 佢唔单止系一个好老公，仲系个好爸爸。He is not only a good husband but also a great father。仔 ，son， 仔 ，son， 我有两个仔，一个女。I have two sons and one daughter. 哥哥 ，older brother. 哥哥 ，older brother. 我同哥哥去公园玩。My older brother and I go play in the park. When I was younger, I always wanted a, an older brother, and I would ask my mom for an elder brother, and she was like, "You're too late. <laughs> you can only have a younger brother or younger sister." But I didn't want it. Only one and elder brother. So next, 细佬 younger brother. 细佬 younger brother. 我成日同细佬打交 I always fight with my younger brother. 爷爷 paternal grandfather. 爷爷 paternal grandfather. 逢星期日我都会去探我爷爷 I visit my grandfather every Sunday. Do you visit your grandfather? 孙仔 grandson， 孙仔 grandson， 佢好锡佢个孙仔。He loves her grandson so much. So um, when you go to visit your 爷爷 your grandfather, he will say, "Oh, my grandson is here. 我个孙仔嚟咗。” Yeah. 妈妈 mother， 妈妈 mother， 佢妈妈系个教师。His mother is a teacher. 我妈妈系个教师 ，my mother is a teacher。女 ，daughter。Next， 女 ，daughter， 女，嗯，佢个女好靓 ，her daughter is very pretty。你个女好乖 ，your daughter is very good， like behaving very well。妹妹 ，younger sister。妹妹 ，younger sister， 呢个系我妹妹 ，this is my younger sister。老婆 ，wife。老婆 ，wife。佢老婆两年前过身。His wife died two years ago. That is so sad. Um, 呢个系我老婆。This is my wife. 呢个系我老公。This is my husband. 孙女 ，granddaughter。孙女 ，granddaughter。我孙女今日翻嚟。My granddaughter is coming back today. 
So when a granddaughter is traveling or studying elsewhere, so the grandfather or grandmother might tell people happily that no soon no come at fun here. Oh, my granddaughter is coming back today. Paw paw, maternal grandmother. Paw paw, maternal grandmother. 佢婆婆九十岁 His grandmother is ninety years old. 公公 maternal grandfather. 我公公九十三岁 My grandfather is ninety three years old. So paternal grandfather is 爷爷 and maternal grandfather is 公公 Paternal grandmother is 妈妈 and paternal、uh, maternal grandmother is 婆婆 Cantonese or most Chinese dialects have all these different names for for different people, depending on which side of the family they're from. If they're younger or older, it's very complicated. I just love how in English you can just call everyone uncle, auntie, cousin, grandfather, grandmother with the, all the different terms. When I was younger, it was super hard to memorize everything. It's like so gong so po gu ma gu zhe. They're all there's like all different terms. So today we talked about fifteen family words, but there are so many different terms in Cantonese. If you know any of those special terms I mentioned, you can leave it in the comments or feel free to ask how to say say your mom's younger brother's wife or whatever. They're all different, so feel free to ask in the comment section. Please subscribe to our channel if you like this video, and check out CantoneseClass101.com. And I'll see you next time. My name is Olivia. Bye, Hatsikin. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. I'm Olivia, and today we're going to talk about top ten phrases your parents always say. Here we go. See you soon. Be careful. See you soon. Be careful. It's very common for a mother or father to warn their kids, especially when they're running around with scissors or doing anything that seems dangerous or jumping around on the sofa. So they will say, "Xiu san ma, be careful." Xiu san, be careful. Xiu is little, small. Some is hard. So small heart somehow means be careful or be cautious. Zheng di, be quiet. Zheng di, be quiet. It's funny how parents take a long time to teach you to talk, and then when you're older, they just tell you to be quiet and not talk so much. Zheng di, zheng means quiet. Di is for a bit, so keep it low, keep it quiet for a bit. So zheng di, if you are screaming in the living room while mother or father is doing on their own thing, they might tell you zheng di. It's like be quiet, keep quiet. The next one is. 乖的啦 ，behave. 乖的啦 ，behave. 乖 means to be good, to behave. So, 的 is for a bit, and 啦 is the final particle. So, 乖的啦 is like behave. Please be good. For example, I've had a hectic day. Please behave. 唔该你乖的啦 Please behave. 唔该你乖的啦唔该 It's like please. 乖的啦 Behave. 做功课 Do homework. It's literally do is do, and homework is gong fo. So do homework, do gong fo. I don't think my parents had to tell me to do homework when I was younger. We just automatically do it. I didn't hear this sentence much when I was younger. So do gong fo, do homework, go do your homework. 去瞓觉 go to bed. 去瞓觉 go to bed. 去 is go. Fun gal is sleep, so go to bed. It's like go to sleep, go to bed. 十点啦，去瞓觉啦。It's already ten. Go to bed. 我数到三。I'm going to count to three. 我 is me. So is to count. Do is like up to, and 三 is three. So 我数到三。I'll count to three. I'm going to count up to three. And I hear that a lot with most parents. It's like I'm going to count to three. And something terrible is going to happen if you don't do what they say when they count to three. But nowadays, kids are not that afraid of this sentence. But in my generation, we are terrified of this sentence. Tang, <laughs> stop! If a bunch of kids are running around and screaming, and the parent will just say stop. It's like Tang ah, Tang. 你讲咩 What did you say? 你讲咩 What did you say? If a kid talk back, 
this would be what the parents say. What did you say? They go, man. It's like, how dare you talk back to me? They go, man. They is you. Gong is to speak. Man is the question particle. So what you said, literally. So what did you say? They go, man. Don't talk back to your parents. No, my gong xiu. I'm not kidding. No, me, my not to be not. Gong xiu is joking or kidding. So no, my gong xiu. I'm not kidding. Hai fan gao. No, my gong xiu. Go to bed. I'm not kidding. I'm not joking. I'm not joking around. You better do it. I'm serious. No, my gong xiu. Zhi ha xi dian xi. Turn off the TV now. Turn the TV off now. Zhi ha is immediately at once. Xi dian xi is to turn off the TV. Xi is to turn off. Dian xi is TV. Zhi ha xi dian xi. Turn the TV off now. I used to stay up and watch TV while my mom is downstairs doing something else. So when she came up and see that I'm still watching TV and not in bed, she would say, "Zhi ha xi dian xi, hui fan gao." Turn the TV off now and go to bed. I had a very early bedtime, <laughs> like seven. Nowadays, kids stay up pretty late. I heard. So here are the top ten phrases parents always say. Tell us in the comment section if you have other phrases that you always say to your kids or your parents always tell you. Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speak real Cantonese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CantoneseClass101.com. You are aboard an express train where you're about to arrive at your next destination. Suddenly, the train slows and comes to an unexpected stop, clearly short of the station. There are no instructions from the conductor. Concerned, you pick up and read the emergency instructions pamphlet aboard the train. According to the pamphlet, what should you do in this situation? According to the pamphlet, what should you do in this situation? The pamphlet says that you should not attempt to exit the train because the train tracks are electrified. Instead, you should stay seated and wait for help to arrive. 请勿离开座位。并等待救援人员到达。Hi, watchers! Welcome back to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we are going to talk about clothes, some clothes or clothing. So that's why I'm gonna show you my wardrobe. It's a bit embarrassing, but here we go. Ta-da! 牛仔裤 jeans， 牛仔裤 denim jeans， denim jeans。牛仔 means cowboy, and fu is pants. So cowboy pants would be jeans. 我差唔多日日都著牛仔裤 I wear jeans almost every day. So next we have lan sam, lan sam, um, sweater, lan sam. 我好中意呢件冷衫，好香。I like this sweater a lot. Um, it smells good too. <laughs> Lan is kind of like linen or wool, and sam is clothes, so clothes that are knitted, mostly、uh, most sweaters. So lan sam. Next word is su sam shirt, su sam shirts like blouse or shirts. Su sam 
呢件恤衫係紫色嘅。This shirt is purple. 冇 ，a hat or a cap. 冇。<笑>我新買咗頂帽啊 ！I bought a new hat。呢頂帽係啡色嘅。This hat is brown。And I don't know where I should wear it to yet。And for leather jacket， it's 皮褸皮 is leather and 褸 is jacket。We don't say 皮外套 ，we say 皮褸。So I love my 皮褸 ，I love my leather jacket。我。今晚就著皮褸出街啦 ！I'm gonna wear this leather jacket out tonight. It should keep me warm. So that's it for today. Today we talk about clothes, some clothes. Thank you very much for watching. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel and、um, check out CantoneseClass11.com where you can find the word list for the terms we talked about today. So I'll see you next time in other Cantonese videos. I'm Olivia. 拜拜，下次见。好热啊 ，It's too warm. Hi everyone, welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia, and this week's topic is drinks. There are many famous drinks in Hong Kong. The first word is 奶茶。奶茶 is milk tea. Hong Kong has a very special Hong Kong style milk tea. They just use a lot of Tea and add it with condensed milk and or evaporated milk sometimes.、Um, in a sentence, 奶茶，香港嘅奶茶好出名。Hong Kong's milk tea is very famous. Next, 鴛鴦，鴛鴦，鴛鴦 is a mixture of coffee and milk tea. You should try sometime. 我去茶餐廳飲鴛鴦。I go to Hong Kong style restaurant to drink yin yang coffee tea, coffee milk tea. In a sentence, 我好中意飲鴛鴦 I like drinking coffee milk tea. Next, 檸樂 Um, 檸 is short for 檸檬 lemon, and 樂 is short for Coca Cola. Um. 可口可樂 ，so 檸樂 is lemon cook. In a sentence， 檸樂可以凍飲亦可以熱飲。You can drink lemon cook either hot or cold. It's interesting, right? Next， 檸蜜，檸 is short for 檸檬 lemon， and 蜜 is short for 蜜糖 honey. So 檸蜜 is lemon in hot water with、uh, honey. It's really good for your throat if you have like scratchy or sore throat. So, 我冬天日日都飲熱檸蜜 I drink hot lemon water with honey every day in the winter. Next word is 胡辣蝦胡辣蝦 is Horlicks. I think other country has it as well. Some countries is、um, powder made with malt. And you add it with hot milk or hot water and make it into a sweet, sweet drink.、Um, I used to like it when I was a kid. 我细个嗰阵好中意饮好辣虾。When I was young, I liked to drink Horlicks. So that's it for today. Today we talked about drinks. I'll see you next time at Cantonese Weekly Words. Hi everybody, Olivia here. Welcome to Ask a Teacher, where I'll answer some of your most common Cantonese questions. The question for this lesson is, what is yuping? Yuping, yuping, commonly known as yuping, is the standard, most commonly used phonetic system for spelling Cantonese using Roman letters. It's a way to read and pronounce Cantonese words through English letters and tone numbers. For example, S I U three C O S C to laugh is the Yue Ping for this character. Even though most Hong Kong people can understand the Yue Ping or other romanization systems, they are not a substitute for the Chinese characters. Let's get into more details. How is a word built when written in Yue Ping? 
Cantonese sound can be broken down into syllables. These syllables can be a standalone word, or they can be combined together to form compound words. Each syllable is made up of an initial sound, a final sound, and a tone. So, for learners who are not familiar with the Chinese characters, we transcribe the syllables into Romanized letters or yupin. Here is an example of a syllable in yupin: sing, which means star, s-i-n-g one. Here, the initial sound is s, and final sound is ing, ing, i-n-g, and the syllable is in the first tone. The tones in yupin are represented by a number placed on the right side of the syllable. There are numbers from one to six. Now, how common is yupin in Hong Kong? Basically, yupin is the transliteration of Cantonese sound for Cantonese learners, which is related to the International Phonetic Alphabet System. For native speakers, however, this is unnecessary and never taught in school. So don't be surprised when a native speaker is not aware of or doesn't know what yupin is. There are many cases of government transliterated Hong Kong street or district names that use an obscure and unstandardized system. For example, Sam Sui Bo, Sam Sui Bo is commonly known as the Sam Sui Po district, but the transliteration Sam Sui Po is not in line with the yupin rules. You can listen to all the sounds of Cantonese and see their corresponding Yuping romanization at www.cantoneseclass101.com/cantonese-alphabet. There is a Yuping chart with audio to aid you in perfecting the pronunciation. How was it? Pretty interesting, right? Do you have any more questions? Leave them in the comment below, and I'll try to answer them. See you next time. Hatsikin. Hi guys, welcome back to Cantonese Top Words. Today I am traveling, and I'm gonna show you where I am later. You can guess where I am. But I'm going to talk about top 10 tourist attractions in Hong Kong today. So here we go. The first one is Qin Sui Wan, Repulse Bay. Qin Sui Wan has a very There is a very beautiful beach at Repulse Bay. Many people go suntanning or even surfing there, and sometimes you can swim and um, swim mostly and suntan. Taiping San, Victoria Peak. You can take the peak tram to the Victoria Peak. It's uh, very nice and one of the must do's when people go visit Hong Kong. I hope. Um, you get to go too. I've been on the tram, like the peak tram, many times, and it's been very nice. And um, better get a seat in the front, and you will get a very nice view. Waitolea Gong, Victoria Harbor. This is like the most famous part of Hong Kong, <laughs> and uh, I pass by it almost every day. It's a very nice place to go and at night, I love to go there to look at the night view of Hong Kong. So in a sentence, The night view of the Victoria Harbor is world famous. In most cases, we would shorten Victoria Harbor to 圍港. 圍港, so the first word and the last word. And if you go there around 8 at night, there is like a symphony show, uh, like a light show. All the buildings will light up according to the music. It's a really nice show. I hope you get to see it. The best place to see it is by the Star Ferry in Chim Sa Chui. There, you can even hear the music and have a very good view in front of the harbor. So it's close to where the Avenue of Stars is. So in between Avenue of Stars and the Star Ferry Pier, that is a long stretch of harborside walkway where you can watch the show. It's very nice. Hong Kong Disney Lot Yun, Hong Kong Disneyland. We're going to Hong Kong Disneyland today. Hong Kong Disneyland is actually a bit smaller than Hong Kong Disney World. But uh, it's nice, it's nice. <laughs> there are a lot of tourists there too, so get your ticket soon. Nguyen Gai, Ladies Market. So at Ladies Market, people go shop. 
It's uh, usually filled up a lot of.、Um, it's mostly a street vendors selling、um, pirated goods or、um, souvenirs. So it would be something different than one you can find at a shopping mall. I got a short video clip for you here. Many tourists like to go to the ladies' market to buy souvenirs. Hoyang Gongyuan, Ocean Park, Hong Kong. One of my favorite、um, for a school trip, we usually go to Ocean Park when we were in primary school. And、uh, even when we when we get older, we go dating or when we have kids, we usually go to Ocean Park. So Ocean Park is. More、um, sentimental than、um, Disneyland because Disneyland is newer. But yeah, I like Ocean Park. They also have a very nice aquarium there. Hoyang Gongyuan's Hong Mao Ho Da Yi. The pandas in Ocean Park are very cute. Yes, there are two um, famous um, pandas in Ocean Park. And if you want to have a wedding with pandas at your witness, you can do that at the Ocean Park too. There was a pair of celebrities who did that. They had a wedding at Ocean Park, and On On and Guy Guy the Pandas were witnesses for the wedding. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Angping 360 Angping 360 cable car. We take the Angping 360 cable car to see the big Buddha. I like this cable car very much. It's actually very long. It stretches about. The mountains and the ocean, you can get to see a lot of Hong Kong, especially the green side of Hong Kong. After that, you can go look at the Big Buddha. That's also one of the main Hong Kong tourist attraction. Oh, and there is always a long lineup, so better book your ticket online before, like the, the day before you go. Hong Kong Zai Zhan Bao Hai Xin Fang, Aberdeen Jumbo Floating Restaurant. It's a famous、um, seafood restaurant that it's in kind of like a boat house. It's a floating restaurant, though it doesn't really move that much. It's very solid, so you won't get seasick or nauseous on in the restaurant. In a sentence, 游客好中意去香港珍宝海鲜坊食海鲜 Tourists love to go to the Aberdeen Jumbo Floating Restaurant to eat seafood. So to get to the restaurant, you have to take a little yeah, a little boat to get there. It's pretty cool experience, and you get to see the older side of Hong Kong, which、uh, Hong Kong used to be a fishing village. So there were a lot of near water activities or culture. Yeah. So I hope you get to try it out. Nan Guai Fang, Lan Guai Fang. Many foreign people like to go to Nan Guai Fang to drink. Many young people like to go drinking at Lan Kuai Fang. I used to go drinking at Lan Kuai Fang too. It's a famous bar and clubbing area with、uh, also some fancy restaurants. So that's、um, the main nightlife area for Hong Kong people. And there are a lot of expats and tourists there as well. Some bars have live music performance, so those are pretty nice. Tech Chu Si Zha, Stanley Market. So Stanley is kind of like、um, beach area where there is a beach and、um, restaurants and bars and、uh, markets. Also, people go there for barbecue outdoor as well. There are also a lot of activities like stand up paddleboard, kayaking, stuff like that. And some people go camping there too. I think if it's, I'm not sure if it's legal though. <laughs> Anyways, in a sentence, Tetchu Si Zha 附近嘅餐廳同酒吧好有歐陸風味 The restaurants and bars near the Stanley Market are rich in European style. It's, I guess, it's because it's catered for expats or tourists. So it's yeah, it's European style. So that's it for today. Today we talked about top ten tourist attractions in Hong Kong. I hope you get to see all those places when you visit Hong Kong. Those are pretty nice places. I would bring my friends to these places when they visit, and sometimes I go there by myself as well. And now I'm going to tell you where I am. 
So this is Lake Louise in Canada. In Alberta, Canada, Lake Louise is a very famous lake. And it is so nice here, isn't it? I'm still on holiday, but if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and let us know in the comments what you want to know in Cantonese. Oh, and please check out CantoneseClass101.com for the word list and explanation on all the words and you can even uh, get a free lifetime account there. So my name is Olivia and I hope I'll see you again in the next video. Bye! See you! Hi guys! Welcome to CantoneseClass101.com's Cantonese Top Words. I'm Olivia and today we're going to talk about top 10 ways to prepare your travel. In fact, I'm traveling right now. But let's start with the work list. Gan hui bin do to choose your destination. Before you start your trip, of course, you have to start with some preparation work. First, we have gan hui bin do to choose the destination. Gan means to choose. Bin do is where. Hui is to go. So to choose to go where. So to choose your destination. For this travel, my family and I chose to travel to Japan. So here we are, this is Japan. Ta-da! But let's continue with the word list. So one more example for 拣去边度,就来方复活节家,拣去边度旅行好呢? The Easter holiday is coming. Where should I choose for traveling? 拣去边度旅行好呢? Choose where to travel. 筹钱, to save money. So after you have decided on your destination and you've read about it, did some research, then you have to 筹钱, save money. You have to save money for you to spend for the trip, right? Cho is together to save up and qin is money, to save money. I've been trying so hard to save money because I want to travel to Iceland. I've been trying so hard to save money because I want to travel to Iceland. That's true. I'm actually planning for it. Iceland trip. If you have any advice or recommendation, please let us know in the comment section. Bingo is Iceland. Chotin to save money. I heard that Iceland is one of the most expensive country to travel to. So I would really need to chotin in order to go to that trip. Next, Bengi Pew to book a flight. So after you save that money, you can Bengi Pew. To book a flight. Then gay pew, then is to book to reserve. Gay pew is um, flight tickets or yeah, flying tickets, plane seat ticket. So then gay pew in a sentence. Fidi then gay pew mhaizamo waigala. You should book your flight as soon as possible, otherwise there will be no seats. You should book your flight as soon as possible, otherwise there will be no more seats. It's been, um, ticket prices have been kind of cheap lately. That caused a lot of people to travel and um, yeah, the seat got taken up very soon. Especially good seats. <laughs> I like window seats, how about you? What kind of seats do you like? Let us know in the comment section. Next, Gaishun Hoji to calculate expenses. So after you bought your, your plane ticket, you have to calculate how much you can spend on hotel, accommodation, food, and whatnot. So the next word is to calculate expenses. To calculate expenses. is to calculate expenses. In a sentence, It's better to calculate the expense before traveling. So in that case, you won't be stranded somewhere and got no money to travel to the airport <laughs> and return home. So before you go to a trip, please 
calculate your expense in advance, just in case. Or you can actually do some street performance to gain some changes, maybe. Some people do that, I heard. So next, Tenga to request vacation time. Tenga in an office. When you want to get, take some day off, you have to tell the HR department or your superior that, oh, can I take these days off? 我仲考虑紧好唔好请假去旅行。我仲考虑紧好唔好请假去旅行。I'm still thinking if I should request for vacation time for traveling. So some people might want to save up the annual leave for something more important, but um. Usually, for people who doesn't have family, they would spend their annual leave, annual holiday on traveling, I guess, or getting married or moving and whatnot. I heard that in some European countries, it's compulsory to let your employee take a month off or like or two weeks off during the summer or just to travel. It's a good balance of life. Then that's a very difficult concept in Asia. Then zhao dim to book accommodations. So after you calculate expense, you bought your plane plane ticket, you got your vacation. The next step is to then zhao dim to book accommodations. Then is to book or reserve. Zhao dim is hotel, so it's actually to book a hotel. Or you can say then Airbnb to book a room on Airbnb or um. Then, manso to book for a pension, but the most common way to say it is then zhao dim to book for a hotel. 上网订酒店真系好方便 Booking accommodation online is very convenient. Nowadays, we just use all those price comparison website or search engine to find the best price. Back in maybe two twenty years ago, we still need to use a travel agency. But now going online, doing it ourselves is the best. So I'm long to go online. Then zhao dim to book a hotel. 真系 really 好方便 very convenient. 方便 is convenient. So so I'm long. Then zhao dim 真系好方便 Booking accommodation online is very convenient. Next, 更新护照 to renew your passport. 更新护照 to renew your passport. Remember to check your passport before you travel, at least like a month before your departure date, because that has happened to so many friends of mine and even myself that we're traveling, getting everything ready, and right before you we go to the airport, we realize our passport is expired. That's like nightmare, and I don't think the travel insurance cover for that neither. So be careful. 更新护照，更新 is renew， 护照 is passport。你要预留足够嘅时间去更新护照。You have to reserve enough time to renew your passport. Those things take time, really, especially if you are living in、um, in a country that is not from your passport country, so、um, the origin country. So, yeah, 预留足够嘅时间 to reserve enough time for renewing a passport. Next. Up, Hanne, to pack. So you have pretty much everything ready. Now you have to up, Hanne, to pack your suitcase. To pack, up is to tidy up, to gather, to、um, pack things. Hanne is suitcase or luggage. So to pack your luggage for the trip, up, Hanne, up, Hanne, 真系好花时间 Packing is really time consuming. Up, Hanne. 花时间 is like to spend time to spend a lot of time on something, so time consuming.、Mm, some people I know that some people they just open the suitcase, throw everything in, close it, and go to the airport like two hours before the the traveling date. But for me, I don't know why it always takes so long because I'm worried that I would forget something. So I usually start packing maybe a week or even longer before the trip because you don't want to bring any extra thing like unnecessary thing and then you end up carrying it around and it's heavy. So I try to minimize my belongings and、uh, use things that are versatile, clothing that are matching with each other, things like that. There are so many tips online for you like how to. Pack your luggage in a more efficient way. 
So um, yeah, I highly recommend watching one of those if you're confused on um, how to pack and not overpack or underpack. Next, 买旅游保险 to buy travel insurance. 买旅游保险 to buy travel insurance. It is pretty critical to buy travel insurance. My family and I have used it in several occasions, just for the safe sake, just for a peace of mind, right? 旅游保险, 旅游 is travel, 保险 is insurance. So you can use like 人寿保险, life insurance, or um, home insurance, 家居保险. So uh, 买旅游保险 to buy travel insurance. You can usually do that online or even some airport has kiosk where you can just buy it at the airport. So um, it's a very convenient way to give you a peace of mind for your trip. In a sentence, 出发前记得买旅游保险以防万一 Remember to buy travel insurance before you travel just in case an accident happens. Accidents in um, in Cantonese is actually called uh, 意外. 意 is mine, oi is out. So it's something out of your mind, something that comes up without planning. So um, accidents, 意外, uh, something that is outside of your mind. Yes, so that's why it's important to buy insurance. Next, 攞签证 to get a visa. Some countries uh, require a visa for entry, so law is to obtain, to get. Timzeng is visa for, um, for entering a country. In a sentence, 很多中東地區都需要遊客攞簽證先可以入境. Tourists are required to get a visa to enter the country in many Middle East areas. And for me, I know that I need to get visa for Vietnam, Russia, and Kenya, countries like that, but I i don't think I've obtained the visa for Middle East countries, but different passport has different powers, so, so let us know if you have ever obtained the visa for any Middle East countries. Today we talk about top 10 ways to prepare your travel. I hope this list helped you learn Cantonese as well as preparing your traveling. Summer is coming up soon, so maybe you'll be traveling somewhere. Let us know where you're traveling and maybe other learners can give you some advice and recommendation on what to do there. Thank you for watching the video. If you like it, please subscribe to our channel. And uh, there's a word list and explanation of different terms and vocabularies on our website, cantoneseclass101.com. Please check it out. It will be very helpful in uh, learning words for your travel. So I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. Hi. Welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. I'm Olivia. And this week we will talk about health concerns. Let's see what we have. Tao Tong. Tao Tong is a oh, headache. Headache. Um, headache in a sentence. Uh, you're giving me headaches. I have headache every night before I go to sleep. Tao Wan. Tao Wan is um, dizzy and feeling giddy, dizzy. I'm feeling dizzy. I want to go home early and rest. Tao Ah, Tao is stomach. See, um, Tao is head and Tao is stomach, so Tong is pain, so Tao Tong is stomach. I don't know what I I don't know what I ate, but I'm having a really bad stomach ache right now. Next. Next is Man Gum. Man Gum is allergy, like or having allergic reaction. I'm allergic to peanuts. 我對海鮮敏感 I'm allergic to seafood That's not true, that would be so bad, I love seafood 作嘔作嘔 is nauseous, feeling nauseous that I have to throw up 她近排成日作嘔不知道有什麼事 She has been feeling nauseous all the time lately I wonder what happened Today we talked about health concerns and I'll see you next week Olivia
See you next time. Want to speak real Cantonese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at CantoneseClass101.com. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words by CantoneseClass101.com. My name is Olivia. Today we're going to talk about top 10 phrases tourists should never use. Never use these. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Even if it's disgusting, you should not say it, I guess. <laughs> what that means ugly or disgusting. So what that uh, means that's disgusting. My country is better. My country is better. Um, why do you travel if you think your country is always better? Of course, every country has the good and bad, but you should be open-minded and absorb all the new experience, even if it's better or worse. I'd rather be back home. I'd rather be back home. Then don't go traveling. You should enjoy traveling instead of uh, complaining all the time. Sao sang. Shut up. Sao sang. Sao sang. Shut up. Even if you're not traveling, that's not a very nice phrase to say. To tell people to shut up, that's not very good. Next. I'm not very interested in your culture. I'm not very interested in your culture. Never say things like that. That's just that's just mean. And you should always respect other people and their culture. Let's just eat at McDonald's. Let's just eat at McDonald's. Then why do you travel? Again, I hate globalization because you can find McDonald's or KFC or Starbucks everywhere. And, and for some people, even when they're traveling, they stick to what they are comfortable with. That they should actually try new food at a new place. New cuisine in a new country. Boring. Homona boring. Moon is boring. So homona is to complain that something is very boring. Usually only young people or teenagers say that. I stopped saying boring for a long time. Nika Holansek, this tastes awful. Nika Holansek, this tastes awful. So lan is difficult, sick is to eat. Lansek is awful, the food is bad. You can say it in your heart. Just don't say it out loud, it's just not okay. Unless you have to complain to the restaurant that they have some problem with the food. This is stupid. This is so stupid. is stupid. You people are uncivilized. You people are uncivilized. You may say that in your mind, but I guess you should not say that out loud. Yeman means rude or uncivilized. So you guys are so uncivilized. So that's it for today. Today we talk about top 10 phrases tourists should never use. So don't use these phrases and try to enjoy your travel, your new environment. If you like this video, please subscribe and check out the world list on CantoneseClass101.com. So I'll see you next time. My name is Olivia. Bye! You've decided to study a new language, so now what? Well, you want to become fluent fast, right? Here are the top five shortcuts to learning a language. Number one, create a study schedule and set some goals. Many language learners are unorganized. Creating a schedule allows you to free up time to study consistently. Goals give you motivation and something to strive for. Number two, make it fun. If you learn how to make your study time enjoyable, chances are you'll be more inclined to study. Watch a TV show with subtitles or listen to some music. Number three, find a language partner. This is the best way to improve your conversation skills. It will help you gain fluency even faster and increase confidence when speaking. 
Number four, use word lists to build up a solid vocabulary. This is a great way to build up your fluency, one word at a time. Luckily, we have all the word lists you need with a range of topics from food to love. Choose whichever language you want to study and go. Number five, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Nothing helps you improve more than correcting your own errors. You're more likely to remember it correctly the next time around. Everyone makes mistakes. Don't be afraid to learn from them. There's no magical way to learn a new language overnight, but doing all of these can really help your learning process. And remember, if you're interested in getting on the fast track to fluency, sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. Start learning now. Hi guys, welcome. Neho. My name is Olivia and welcome to Cantonese Top Words. Today we're going to talk about 10 ways to say hello. Hello, hello. So of course you can say in English like hello or with the Cantonese accent, hello. <laughs> so let's start with the word list. Hello, hello. The first word is hello. So it's hello, but with a Cantonese accent. It came from the English hello, of course. Zhou-san, good morning. And the next is Zhou-san, good morning. Zhou-san, good morning. So in the morning, like before noon, whenever you see people, you can say Zhou-san. Zhou-san. Xin-san, Zhou-san. Gengcha sok sok Zhou-san. Ni hou. Hi, good day. Ni hou, that's like hi and good day. So ni hou literally means you well. So ni hou, it's a bit formal or, um, well, not exactly formal, but it's more for a polite way to say it. So I would say ni hou to say the security guard of the building. Ni hou, zhou san. Hi, good morning. Dai ga hou. Hello, everybody. 大家好. Hello, everybody. 大家好. So if I'm talking to a group of people, say I'm talking to you guys, you listeners and watchers, I will say 大家好. 大家好啊. 大家 means like everyone. 好 is well. So if it's one person, it's 你好. If it's a group of people, say 大家好. 大家好. 好耐没见. Long time no see. 好耐没见, long time no see. 好耐, long time, 没见, no see, literally. So, um, if I run into someone that I haven't seen in a long time, I say, why, 好耐没见. Hey, long time no see, how have you been? 最近点啊? How have you been? 最近点啊? How have you been? 最近点啊? How have you been? You say this with people you haven't met for quite some time. So, Joygan is recently, and Dima is like, how is it? How's it going? So, how are you recently? How are you lately? Or you can combine all of them like, hello, how long have you been? Joygan, Dima. Dima, how's it going? Dima, how's it going? This is very casual. I would use it with my friends. So, Dima, um, watch your tone because if you say it angrily, it's like Dima. It's like, what do you want? <laughs> or if you say it um, with like without patience, you can say Dima. It's like, what do you want now? It's like, what now? So say it with a nice voice. Uh, Dima. It's it's like, oh, how are you? How are you feeling? How have you been? Have you eaten yet? Have you eaten yet? So Asian people love to eat and we greet other by asking if they have eaten yet. So have you eaten yet? Maybe I would use it around lunchtime, like one or two, to see if they have had lunch yet. But yeah, it's a very casual way to ask how someone is. 你几时回来的? When did you get back in town? 你几时回来的? When did you get back in town? So if you run into someone that you thought is not in town, you can say, 喂, 你几时回来的? 很久没见, Long time no see, when did you come back? 你父母身体好吗? 
，How are your parents？ 你父母身体好吗 ？How are your parents？ 你父母 your parents 身体好吗？身体 is body or health， 好吗 is well。So literally it means are your parents healthy? Are your parents well? So how are your parents? Hello， 好耐冇见，你父母身体好吗 ？Hello， long time no see. How are your parents? Like if、uh, it's a nice way to greet people and ask about their the parents. So that's it for today. Today we talked about ten ways to say hello. Hi, hi, hi. And I'm gonna say goodbye now for now. And、uh, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And check out CantoneseClass101.com for more Cantonese videos and Cantonese fun stuff. See you next time. My name is Olivia. Bye. You just got off the train at the closest station to your friend's new house. Where he's invited you to a party. Which exit should you use to get to your friend's new house? Which exit should you use to get to your friend's new house? Although the east exit would have normally been the closest exit, it's currently under construction, so you should take the south exit instead. Yongnam Chut Hao. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. My name is Olivia, and today we're going to talk about ten most romantic idea for a date. Are you going on a date soon? Here are some ideas. Here we go. 烛光晚餐 candlelight dinner. 烛光晚餐 candlelight dinner. 今日系我哋周年纪念，我哋会去烛光晚餐。Today is our anniversary. We're going to a candlelight dinner. Aren't they expensive? <laughs> Candlelight dinner, 烛光 is、uh, candlelight, and dinner is 晚餐 So 烛光晚餐 candlelight dinner. Usually, people go for、uh, Valentine's Day or or Christmas for candlelight dinner or yeah anniversary. How about you? 去散步 to go for a walk. 去散步 to go for a walk. Daddy, mommy, 每日都会去散步 Father and mother go for a walk every day, especially after dinner. They would go for a walk. It's healthy. And it's kind of nice, like the sun is setting, and you're having a walk, talking about everything. I like this kind of date. Next, 打保龄 to go bowling. 打保龄 to go bowling. 今日落大雨，改去打保龄算啦。It's raining heavily today. We'd better go bowling instead. If you already had a plan, like picnic or something, and it's raining, then you can change the plan to an indoor activity like bowling. 打保龄 I don't think many people go bowling as a date. Do you? 去水族馆 to go to the aquarium. 去水族馆 to go to the aquarium. Ooh, 水族馆 aquarium. I like 水族馆佢哋去水族馆拍拖真系浪漫 They're having a date at the aquarium. That's so romantic. I agree. And some aquarium, they have nice restaurants too. So after you look at the fishies, you can have nice meal, not seafood meal maybe. <laughs> Next, 去睇歌剧 to go to the opera. 去睇歌剧 to go to the opera. 带女朋友去睇歌剧会唔会闷亲佢啊 Don't you think taking a girlfriend to see opera will make her feel bored? Well, not me. I love operas. I would love to go on an opera date. That would be a more cultural side. 
Have you ever been on an opera date? What did you watch? What did you see? 野餐 to have a picnic. 野餐 to have a picnic. 咁好天气，不如去野餐。The weather is so great. Let's go picnic. Yeah, I love picnic dates, and、uh, you can bring any food you like, and go to just a park or a national park, and relax and look at the sky, <laughs> and talk. That's a nice date. Next, 坐渡轮 to take a ferry ride. 坐渡轮 to take a ferry ride. 同女朋友坐渡轮，欣赏维港夜景都几浪漫。Taking a ferry ride to enjoy the Victoria Harbour night view with a girlfriend is so romantic. I agree. I love taking the ferry, and especially at night, the night view is excellent. But it's very short. I think seven, ten minutes. So that would be a very short date if that's all you're doing. But of course, there are many、um, cater yeah that we you can go on. They serve drinks. And I think they will be on the harbor for like an hour or so. So that would be a nice kind of date too. Next, 喺沙滩散步 to walk on the beach. 喺沙滩散步 to walk on the beach. 喺沙滩散步 to walk on the beach. So a lot of people are walking on the beach right now. So they are 散步 Maybe they're having a date. I don't know. Sandbow is like to have a walk, to stroll. So 喺沙滩 is at the beach. So in a sentence, 佢哋有时喺沙滩散步，执下贝壳。They usually take a walk at the beach and collect seashells. Yeah, some people every time they go to the beach, they would pick the best seashell, take it home as a souvenir, and they put it in a nice、um, bowl. I don't think I've ever been on a date. Like walking on the beach kind of date, have you? Let us know. Hot <laughs> tea to take a pottery class. Hot tea to take a pottery class. Hot tea. Hot is to learn. Tea is pottery. So、um, instead of saying hot tea ban or to go on a pottery class class, we just say hot tea. It's like to learn pottery. No, I want to hot tea. You want to go? I want to take a pottery class. Want to come with? Yeah, it's like the movie Ghost. <laughs> Every time we talk about pottery or ceramic, all we can think about is ghost. So it's romantic in a way. 去博物馆 to go to the museum. 去博物馆 to go to the museum. 博物馆 is museum. 佢同女朋友都中意去博物馆睇艺术展览。He and his girlfriends both enjoy going to the museum to see art exhibition. 艺术展览 art exhibition.、Uh, I love going to the museum, Bao Man Guan, but there isn't a lot in Hong Kong. But whenever we travel, we can go see a lot of museums. So, which one was your favorite date ideas? Are you gonna go on a date soon? Are you gonna do any of the above soon? Let us know in the comment section and how it turns out. And if you have other suggestions, please let us know. If you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to check out CantoneseClass101.com. My name is Olivia, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi guys, welcome to Cantonese Top Words. My name is Olivia, and today we are going to talk about top ten phrases to know when having a baby. Top ten phrases to know when having a baby. Shh, baby, 瞓紧觉啊 Baby is sleeping. So let's start the list. 瞓眼觉 to take a nap. 瞓眼觉 to take a nap. Baby 瞓紧眼觉啊 Baby is taking a nap. 我都想瞓眼觉 I want to take a nap too. Baby 食饱 In a sentence, baby 食饱就会瞓眼觉 Baby takes a nap after a full meal. Ngan means、um, afternoon, so fun gao is to sleep. So an afternoon sleep, fun ngan gao is a nap. Wai yan nai to breastfeed. Wai yan nai to breastfeed. Wai yan nai. In Hong Kong, breastfeeding is not that common. I guess one third, or at least less than a half of the moms would、uh, do breastfeeding. Because they have to go back to work so soon after giving birth. In Hong Kong,、uh, we only have ten weeks of maternal leave, 
so that's very little. Usually, people take two or four weeks before giving birth, before labor, and、um, and then six to eight weeks、um, afterwards, and then they will have to go back to work. So the baby would have to be apart from the mom with when they are two months old. That's pretty sad. Yeah. So most moms usually feed them formula or they pump, but still, it's more common for Hong Kong moms to feed the baby's formula. In a sentence, 好多妈咪认为喂人奶对 B B 好啲。Lots of mothers believe that breastfeeding is better for the baby. I think so too.、Uh, it's the most natural for both the mother and the baby. One pin to change a diaper. One pin to change a diaper. Do we have a pin here? Pin a diaper. Pin one is to change. So one pin to change a diaper. 带 B B 出街之前记得同佢换片 Before taking the baby out, remember to change his diaper. Well, what's the point? You have to change his diaper two or three times while we're out, anyways. <laughs> so yeah, every time you bring a baby out, you have to also bring a big backpack with、uh, diapers, change of clothes, food,、uh, wipes,、um, a lot of stuff. So pin is diaper. One pin is to change the diaper. So my friend's baby, if you tell her to、um, one pin ah. Change diaper. She'll go grab the pin, the diaper, and walk to where the changing diaper, the changing station is. <laughs> That's very cute. 带口水巾 to put on a beep. 带口水巾 to put on a beep. 带口水巾 so when baby eat, they have to put on a beep. Maybe I should too. I'm kind of clumsy when I eat. <laughs> so in a sentence, 喂 B B 食嘢嘅时候记得同佢带翻条口水巾。Remember to put on a beep when you feed the baby. Put the beep on the baby or on me. It just splashes everywhere, anyways. <laughs> 口水 literally means saliva. Skin is、um, shoulder. So somehow saliva shoulder become a beep <laughs> or a cloth that is for the saliva. So 口水巾口水巾口水 saliva and 口水巾 a beep. One sum to change clothes. One sum to change clothes. One is to change. Sum is clothes. So baby have to change clothes so often because they get messy. <laughs> so in a sentence, 你等多阵啦，佢同 baby 换紧衫。Would you wait for a little while? She is changing the clothes for the baby. She's always changing clothes for the baby because the baby keep puking or pooping. I don't know. <laughs> baby 成日都要换衫。Baby have to change a lot, so you have to do laundry like almost every day. Whoops. <laughs> so for one sum, not only babies can use that,、uh, adults can use it too. Not only one sum, I'll go change. So one sum, you can use it for any person. Chang chui min ko to sing a lullaby. Chang chui min ko to sing a lullaby. Chui min ko chui min is hypnotize. Ko is song. So. A hypnotized song is a lullaby, <laughs> songs that tells kids to go to bed so the parents can relax. In a sentence, 我细个嗰阵，妈咪成日唱催眠曲氹我瞓。Mother always sang a lullaby to put me to sleep when when I was small. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Um, what else? 小宝宝，快啲瞓觉 ，go to bed soon, fall asleep soon. 买 B B 安全座椅 ，to buy a car seat。买 B B 安全座椅 ，to buy a car seat。买 B B 安全座椅 ，to buy a car seat。为咗 B B 嘅安全，一定要买 B B 安全座椅。For the safety of the baby, buying a car seat for the baby is a must. So、uh, it's even、uh, illegal to put the baby in the car without a car seat. Sometimes we just say car seats because it's easier than baby 安全座椅 baby 安全座椅 That's like six words, and、um, yeah, car seat. It makes it it's easier, but yeah. So 安全 means safety. So baby safety seat, a car seat. Why to feed? Why to feed? Why 
why why Nasek fan to feed you um, me a meal to feed you a meal why Nasek fan yeah as I mentioned before it's not really up to the mother to breastfeed every day every time the baby wants milk because they have to go back to work so soon after labor why and night to feed like breastfeed why baby said yeah to feed baby a meal now why they said yeah I'll feed you why to feed toy baby to push a stroller toy baby to push a stroller so baby literally a baby car so car for the baby is a stroller it's much easier I would avoid pushing a stroller in the subway during the rush hour of course I would just avoid rush hour especially if I'm with a baby that's like no way there's no place for a baby so subway during rush hour is crazy in Hong Kong and I don't want to be there so why would I bring my baby there? Because <laughs> the good thing is in Hong Kong, all the subway stations, they have elevator and a lift. So if you have a stroller, use the lift. That's elevator. Lift is British. Elevator in American English. <laughs> right. 冲凉, to bathe. 冲凉, to bathe, to take a bath or to take a shower. So 冲凉. It doesn't have to be for babies. Everybody, like adults, me, uh, baby. We can all 冲凉. In a sentence, 同BB冲完凉,记得同他擦翻啲润肤膏. After bathing the baby, remember to put the lotion on him so their skin don't get dry out. So a bathtub is 冲凉缸,在冲凉缸同BB冲凉. Take a bath for the baby in the bathtub. 在冲凉缸同BB冲凉. Take a bath for the baby in the bathtub. So that's it for today. Today we talk about top 10 phrases to know when you're having a baby. If you're having a baby with um, Cantonese speaking spells, a partner, congratulations, you'll get to learn more terms and phrases about um, taking care of a baby because most likely your in-laws will come over to help and you have to talk a lot of uh, Cantonese with your in-law. Good luck! And feel free to let us know if you have any questions. Um, leave them in the comment section. If you like this video, please give us a like and a subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And uh, check out CantoneseClass101.com for more Cantonese fun stuff. My name is Olivia and I'll see you next time. Bye bye! Super Bowl! Pretty fun cow! Go to bed! Go to sleep! everyone, welcome to Cantonese Weekly Words. Today we're going to talk about live events. Yan Sun Dai Si. Live events. Yan Sun Dai Si. Big things that happen to your life. So Yan Sun Dai Si. And the first is Chut Sai birth or to be born. Chut Sai. Chut is like exit. Sai is the world. So, so should be entering to world, but somehow it literally means to exit into the world, exit your mother's body, exit your mother's body into the world. So just say birth. When was your son born? When was your daughter born? I was born in January. And the next word is but you graduate. But you, still hot. But you graduate from elementary school. Zhong hot. But you graduate from secondary school. Dai hot. But you graduate from university. But you been like graduation ceremony. Wan gong, job hunting. Next word after you graduate, you have to go job hunting, right? One is to look for or to search for. Gong is job or occupation. So wan gong. To job hunt on newspaper, classified post, probably. People nowadays would job hunt online. Job hunting websites. Give fun to get married. Give fun. So after engagement, you get married. John and Mary will get married next year.
退休 to retire or retirement. 我爸爸下年就退休啦。My father is going to retire next year. So that's it for today. Today we talked about live events, 人生大事 Please subscribe and check out the word list on CantoneseClass101.com, and I'll see you next time. I'm Olivia. Ciao.